I started out as a mum, um, coaching little A's kids, young kids, my daughter included. And so I kind of grew up with, with them. And as the kids got older, I realised that I had to coach differently. I had to communicate differently. I had to talk to teenagers rather than young kids. So, and then, then now I'm coaching adults as well. And it gets much harder because not only do you have to speak to them as adults and knowledgeable people, you've also got to speak to them very differently for different people. Where kids, be, kids are happy to work in groups and be told as a group to do this or do that. Once they get to senior level, they want really personalised attention and they want specific time with you on the track and you know they want specific feedback at, at the end of a rep and so when you've got four or five of them it starts getting a little tough <laughs> to, to manage them all and make sure that they're all getting you know something out of the session and, and all getting some of your time as well. It certainly has probably a few things have made it change. Uh, initially I guess I was a, a beginning coach so I had to learn a lot um, so I sort of dealt with a few different styles probably to see what worked for me. Probably initially, if, when you're working with a smaller group, you're probably a bit more uh, along the dictator side of things where you're really driving it all. Um, as your athletes develop, you probably move more away from that and you sort of collaborate with your athletes a little bit more. In the situation I'm in now where I've got a large number of athletes, uh, I probably don't have the opportunity to to go down the dictator side of things. Certainly I'm strict with, with certain rules, um, so that's a bit along those lines. But at the same time, um, I need to be able to work with all the athletes and, as I've said, also you know, empower the athletes so that they take a bit of control of what they're doing and uh, they motivate themselves and they drive the program. And that way I'm sort of a supporting act, I guess, more so than the leading act.